thank you for being with us. Our top story tonight, Nicaraguan President Daniel Ortega continues to escalate efforts to silence and persecute those who speak out against his regime, including the Catholic Church and church leaders, moves which prompted the Vatican to shut down its embassy. And now U.S. lawmakers are taking note. Capitol Hill correspondent Eric Rosales joins us now with more on the hearing, taking a deeper look into the crisis. Eric. Well, Tracy, good evening. First of all, we want to apologize for that high-pitched noise that you're hearing. Apparently, someone tried to go out through the wrong door here at the Capitol and set off the alarm. But back to our story, New Jersey Congressman Chris Smith, who is a leading congressional voice of human rights, chaired the hearing. I did speak with him before the hearing, and he hopes that the testimony will highlight the abuses by Nicaraguan President Daniel Ortega and his government. He also hopes that it will pressure the Biden administration and other world leaders to act. There needs to be real action. You know, you can't coddle a dictatorship and expect anything but for the abuse to accelerate uh, and get significantly worse. And that's what's happening with Ortega. During the hearing, former political prisoners gave emotional testimony. My story is the story of hundreds of Nicaragua who decided to defend freedom, justice, and democracy. As political prisoner, I suffer arbitrary detention, arbitrary jail, inhumane treatment, threats, and constant interrogations. Once inside the notorious prison El Chipote, we were kept in complete isolation from the outside world. At some point, I was even placed in a punishment cell simply for my decision to fast and pray in audible voice. Ortega's government continues to detain, imprison, and torture numerous Catholic leaders, including several priests, along with Bishop Rolando Alvarez. No one close to Bishop Alvarez Lago knows where he is. His family has not seen him since he refused to board the plane to the U.S. I am deeply concerned for his safety, and I'm asking that the Ortega regime make a proof of life. The Ortega government has also repressed Catholic radio and television stations and driven the religious order Missionaries of Charity from the country. They don't let you worship. They don't let you um, go out and have your possessions, you know, whenever there's few people gathering and then um, it's just you cannot pray you cannot pray the rosary that is a reason for you to be incarcerated witnesses called on world leaders to condemn Ortega's actions Pope Francis recently called for peaceful coexistence in the country but the Holy Father has also spoken out against President Ortega and his regime prompting Nicaragua to cut off diplomatic ties with the Holy See it's time for the international community to wake up to this historic evil and for the Biden administration to take action. Folks, imagine that, not being able to pray the rosary. That is something else. Now, in late November, the U.S. State Department designated Nicaragua as a country of particular concern for religious freedom violations. Now, but witnesses and lawmakers are demanding that the Biden administration take more action against the Ortega regime. At the Capitol, Eric Rosales, EWTN News Nightly.